Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here we are in Universal City. Yep, we didn't travel this weekend because my schedule is still a little bit off. So we're gonna stay local. Well, yeah, yeah semi-local doing theme parks this weekend. Right. Until my schedule gets a little bit back more normal. Right, so we are here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna check things out for uh, any kind of food or uh, things that are new. Yeah. Because we, we have haven't been here in forever, a while. Forever, forever. Right. And so, yeah. um, should we mention where we're going tomorrow? Uh, we may go to Disneyland, we may not. So we'll stay, stay tuned for that. But I do want to point out before I forget, check out this awesome looking shirt. <laughs> given to one of our, uh, given to me by one of our fans, uh -huh. Martin and Kelly. Thank you so much for the shirt. And thank you for coming to see me at work, guys. Yeah, they actually came to visit you and yeah. drop off the shirt for me. Mm -hmm. See, where, mm -hmm. where's your shirt? I don't need one. I'm good. I got one because I'm special. Yeah, he's really special. So yeah, so here we go. We're going in. Oh, uh, Aaron is not working today, but no. Nico is. Yeah, we're gonna go surprise him. Yeah, he doesn't know we're here. So you ready? Ready. Let's go in. She just, I don't know what's happening. He's like the Hawkeye guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool, man. So Erin is off today, but if you ever want to visit Erin when she's working, she works in this land here. This is the Harry Potter one. Yes. Yeah. She's, I think she's, a, she's the one that roams around with the wand, I think. So if you want to come and see her. Yeah, one of the wizards. Yeah, one of the wizards. Come and look for her. We have to eat dessert first because we got this sticky toppy pudding, but it's with ice cream. Yeah, this so, is all from Three Broomsticks. This is all from Three Broomsticks in the Harry Potter area. Yeah. This ice cream. Look at that melty. Yeah, we're curious how this sticky toffee pudding yeah. is. Uh, it's like a muffin. We kind of definitely tried a, a whole bunch in Vegas. Yeah. So let's see how it is here. Let's see. Kind of curious. It looks, it looks pretty good. This is a big bite. sticky toffee pudding that we're used to. And this is more like a, a muffin. In the middle, it's like a bread pudding. On the top, it's like a crust. So it's almost like a muffin. It's like a, it's almost like a, a bread pudding muffin. My turn to try this out. Obviously, we're trying this first because the ice cream is gonna start melting. Here we go. Okay. It is definitely a different version from what we're used to, but it does have the flavors of it. Um, a little bit on the sweet side, definitely could taste that caramel, uh, sticky, toffee drizz, like you mentioned that they put on it. It's good. Just um, maybe if you take out whatever you tried in Vegas or in, in, in the UK, just set that aside and just order this and just eat it on its own it's good mm -hmm. yeah there's you know not, nothing bad or wrong with it just don't compare it with the uh with the ones that you've already tried before but this version it does stand on its own it definitely not copying any other version that we've had mm -hmm. it's good it reminds me i can have that like in the morning with breakfast huh baby and a coffee or something that'd be perfect yeah mm -hmm. This is the fish and chips. See how it looks inside. Good pieces of fish in there. As you can see, the crust is not extremely crunchy. Here we go. Let's try. Good fish and chip flavor. Not extremely crunchy though. Good pieces of fish in here. 
As do you, you think it's see. more beer battered? Is that the reason why? Or? I don't know. I've had more crunchy, but you can see the fish just comes out and it separates from the breading, but it's good. Any ideas what kind of fish? Hmm. Filet of fish. McDonald's. Like a like a haddock? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. So it's not really a cod then. No. Uh, but it's good. I like this fish and chips. It's not as fishy. Uh, it's kind of falling apart though. It is. As long as the flavors are there. The flavors are there. Yeah. Herb roasted chicken. We tried this, I think the last time we came here to Universal, a long time ago, and it was really good. So here we go, it's a, a half a chicken, a drumstick thigh, a little bit of the breast and the wing. They give you some roasted potatoes as well, and this long ear of corn. So let's try out this chicken. Yeah, corn on the cob. Here we go. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it's winning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Finally got the, uh, the drumstick free. Chicken is very moist. Very good seasoning on the skin. Like a, like a herb type of a little bit of a salt to it. The chicken is very good. Super moist. Now we're gonna give the uh, potatoes a try. Here we go. Nice and tender. Fork tender. Mm. Good buttery, a little bit of a salt seasoning on it. You can see they might have put some, a uh, little bit of uh, I don't know, olive oil or something and some herbs on it. It's really good, very tender. And the corn. Even there's more potatoes underneath the corn, so they, they do definitely give you a lot. Here you go. Mmm, the corn is the corn is very good. It actually has some snap to the little corn niblets, so it doesn't feel or taste like it's been boiled, where it's really soft. It actually does have a little corn crunch to it, so the corn is very good. This chicken looks really good. Let's break a piece off. I like the little wing tips. Boy, that was easy. Mm -hmm. I had to struggle. <laughs> mm. Chicken is very good. Really moist. I'm trying to think. Very well seasoned. Not as seasoned as like a, a Sam's Club or a Costco chicken. It has this own really great seasoning and I really like this chicken because it is extremely moist along with these potatoes it has the perfect little bite to it which is extremely yummy and the corn mm. the corn is not mushy at all does have that really good pop like you just you just got it out from where it tastes like it's been steamed so you just pulled it out of the steamer and you're taking bites into it it's, it's yummy Yeah, it's rare for me to go on it. Yeah, he, he's actually going on a roller coaster. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that, not a good idea to eat and then come on but this ride. But we're already done though. That's it? That's it, baby. Oh, sweet. <laughs> that was one of the fastest roller coasters I've been on. I know. As he was trying to get into it and saying, okay, that's enough, it was over. 
So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but by the time I changed from the front camera to the back camera, that was it. It was already done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very fast roller coaster if you're not a roller coaster person. It goes fast, so it's interesting, but by the time that you think you're going to get scared, the ride is over. Right. So, so uh, what you saw was most of the ride. Yeah, <laughs> it was. That's what I'm gonna get before we leave. I'm gonna yeah. get the big pink donut. Yeah, that big one. It's a, like a Simpsons signature donut. It is. You know what I miss the most? Hmm. Where that crusty land is? It used to be the Back to the Future ride. That was a cool ride, baby. Now, if you miss that ride, put it in the comments. Let us know that you're a Back to the Future fan like we are. Yeah, yep. Over here being built right now is Nintendo World. Right now it's only in Japan, I believe. And they're building one over here. We're at the lower lot where Transformers is. Nico works over here. And so we're gonna go see if he's working. I think today he's working in a little Panda Express area. So let's go check it out. I don't see him, babe. I don't see him. Maybe he's on break. Yeah. How are you? Alone, Autobots transform and roll out. We found them, babe. What's up, Nico? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. This is where you can find them. Yeah. Today, at least. <laughs> yeah. Or anywhere around here. <laughs> Volunteers, are we ready? Yeah. Open the gates. Easy, Blue. Eyes on me. Blue. Hi, Blue. Hold. Eyes on me. Blue. Hey, over here. There we go. That's more like it. Thank you. If she does come up to you, She's probably just gonna smell you, figure out what kind of animal you are. And when she realizes you're not a mouse, she's gonna back off. How you doing? How you doing? That is my brother. We found him. We found him. Everyone's here today. Everyone's here today. What's up, right? Hi. You find Aaron? She's off today. We saw Nico. Here from Luigi's Pizza. I had to get a pepperoni pizza. You know me, I gotta I gotta try it out and see how it is, especially because your brother just made it, right? Yeah. Linden made it, so uh, here we go. Cheers. Oh, how's the carriage? Good. Good looking. Pretty good. Good pepperoni flavor. Got a little bit of uh, pepperoni juice. Leaking from the top of the on top of the cheese, just to add to the flavoring. Mm. Cross is nice and airy. Yeah, it's a good slice of pie. It's better than like regular buffet pizza. This looks good. It actually smells really good. And the pepperoni. has a hint of spice to it, so it's a teeny bit spicy, but not enough that you can't, that you can't taste anything. It's perfectly spicy. It's a good pizza. I get it again. Good job, Linda. Mm -hmm. What did we get here? We got the big, big, big pink donut. Big pink donut. Mm -hmm. There it is. They have these and they have ones that are come in all different flavors. They have a maple bacon they had some oreo ones right? yeah but this is the classic one it is so this is the homer simpson donut right here so he's gonna pick it up and bite into it i will let's do this wow just to give you a perspective on the size of this thing here it is in my hand just by holding this donut it is super soft they definitely make these fresh every day 
and you figure uh, sometimes when it's so big it loses quality but just by touching it it feels like quality <laughs> These kids walk by and see me take that big bite. <laughs> it is really good. It's a sweet know, babe? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I know by looking at all this pink icing and all the little sprinkles, you would think it'd be like super sweet. But because the donut is so big and fluffy, it's just icing on the cake. It's just very light. It doesn't really taste like anything but a little bit of sweetness to it. It's really good. This is a very good donut. And when you walk around the park, there's people carrying around these boxes. So they're, they're buying these to take home for sure. Excellent donut. Passing the donuts. Yes. Uh, my turn. And it was uh, $9, yeah? $9. Yeah. And for those people who don't like cake, this is a good birthday donut. I think I like it. Birthday donut. Mm -hmm. You heard it here. Here we are at the last showing of the Water World show. Mm -hmm. It's at 4 p.m. I haven't seen this in years. It has been years. Yeah, I wonder if it's changed any. Probably not. <laughs> but it's a cool show. It is. That show keeps getting better and better every time you watch it. <laughs> it was the same show. Yeah, but it was cool though. It was cool. We haven't seen it again in years. Yeah. So it's a nice same show. Yes. And in case you're wondering about the decorations right behind us, they're getting ready for our Halloween Horror Nights. Yep. It's going to be coming yeah. soon. I think in September. I so believe it's so. Right around the corner. Yeah. It's real popular over here. It is. Although I don't think we'll be going. I doubt it. I doubt yeah. it. Too scary. Yep. Hello. You folks at home, how come you did not come see me in person? How dare you? Yes. And with Dracula's message, we are out. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. I haven't been here in years. Yes, it was very fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't know when I'll be back, though, but I haven't been here in years. Yes. Do we have any shout outs, babe? Oh, we do. Tina and Michael, happy one year anniversary. Wildflower Rose, Jay and Crystal, Donna Carrier, J Dog, Chrissy and Rory. Uh, Beck from Brentwood, thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you. Elliot, thank you. He's our youngest viewer, baby. Or maybe. He's wow. an eight month old viewer. That is pretty young. Ha thank you so much for watching. Yes, Elliot. thank you. Congrats on your upcoming wedding, Colleen and Michael. That's right. Happy birthday, Jeannie. Uh, happy birthday, Connor Watkins. And happy belated birthday, um, Veda. Veda, happy belated yes. birthday. Wow. That's it, baby. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people, babe. <laughs> oh, and uh, thank you for the viewer who saw us here. Yes. Yeah, and said hi here at uh, Universal Studios. And your, your yeah. brother at the pizza place. Yeah, my brother at the pizza place. He Nico. didn't recognize this until no. he saw my shirt. <laughs> right? <laughs> because it was eye level with the with the counter, so he couldn't really see. And um, Nico, we saw Nico today. Yes. I was so happy, my baby. In fact, uh, we're going to meet up with him right after we close yeah, out this most vlog. Most likely, yeah. yeah. That'll be a lot of fun, huh, babe? Yes. Yep. Okay. And was that it? That's it. Oh, and thank you for everyone again who come to see me at my work. 
Yeah. yeah. So that was a lot of fun. You've been seeing like hi. like one fan every, every night. Every day. I've been seeing it every day. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, everybody comes up and says hi. That's right. And we don't bite. We can come in and say hi at any time. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks again to everybody for watching our uh, here at uh, Adventurous Day here yeah. at Universal Studios. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.